Hey you guys, welcome to day six of my 10 days of fall. So today's tutorial is one for all of you fall brides. I think fall weddings are so beautiful. I didn't have one, but I just, the colors and just, I don't know, there's something about fall weddings that I'm obsessed with. So if you know someone who's getting married or you're getting married in the fall, this is for you. This is my fall bride cup. So first of all, the cup itself is just stunning with the gold lid, the kind of dusty pink color strap which it's already gorgeous, but the color and the matte finish just really makes it beautiful. If you're using pompous grass, that's kind of what I went with with the little theme there. It has a little heart that says I do. Like I could die, this is so cute. Like I might use this even though I've been married for 14 years, but who doesn't wanna still be a bride? Like I'm still a bride, right? Um, I did a little feather detail on the bottom it's kind of hard to see but I I don't know I'm just obsessed with this cup this water bottle tumbler whatever you want to call this but it's just gorgeous this lid I just love I love it I love everything about it so I am doing a giveaway I'm giving away the paint that I used for this and the epoxy to go with it so check out the details down below for the giveaway and don't forget to come back tomorrow for day seven all right let's get into the tutorial so I'm starting with this Hydro Pure tall kind of water bottle style, 20 ounce. These are from Target. They have a couple different colors. I think they have black as well, maybe like a navy, but I love them. I just, they're such a cool style and just very different. And I love the gold lid so much. So just taking off the kind of strap and the, the rubber part on the bottom that I'm prepping with Mattify and an abrasive pad. Once that was dry, I'm going in with Colorfix Nude Paint. This is just a very beautiful kind of peachy nude and I thought it would be perfect for a bride. So I'm just using one of our large brushes to apply it. It's just a fluffy makeup brush and it gives you the smoothest application. I ended up doing a second coat of the paint just so we have 100% pure color. There's no spots showing through. Then I went on with my Artistry One to One Fast Set Epoxy for our first layer of epoxy. Then I cut out some vinyl. I just did bride in white and I did some pompous grass in this pearl vinyl. It is so pretty. It's from Michaels. I don't remember what brand it is, but it's just called pearl. It's gorgeous. So just centering the bride on there and you could just you could use any font this is I think I did this on the over app but I wanted something kind of cursive -y and pretty without being too fancy and it's a little more like handwriting esque if you will then I'm just taking the pompous grass Just kind of putting that on the side and making sure it goes all the way to the bottom. And the pompous grass vinyl, it took forever to cut out and I was really nervous. I was like, is this gonna work? But it worked, it cut it out really nice. It's really beautiful. So yeah, I was so pleased with how it came out. Then I did another one on the top. And then because it didn't go all the way to the top rim, I added another little piece just to kind of make it longer and extend all the way up. 
And I did have to use scissors and kind of cut the transfer tape to get it laid on there. Then I cut out a little heart and just I do for the back. I just thought that would be a cute little touch back there. So I just put that on the back, but on the bottom of the cup. It's so cute. Then I had, this is tape from Michael's. It just had like little stickers on it. And I put a little feather on the bottom. It, you couldn't really tell what it was. It's just, it's not the best thing. And then also there's that like bump in the middle, but it kind of added a little extra something at the bottom. So then that was the cup with the vinyl. So I did two more layers of epoxy to finish the cup. Then once it was done, I gave it like three days before I did mattify to make it matte. So I'm just using Mattify and one of our white pads. You just use a non-abrasive pad for this or a non-abrasive something. And you can just scrub circular motions all over the entire cup. Cups like this that are a light color like this are so easy. You barely have to do anything and they turn matte. Darker colors are gonna be a lot harder, but this was super easy and it turned out so beautiful in a matte finish. and you can see as it dries it's completely matte and this is how it turned out i am in love with this cup it is pretty simple yes but it is also stunning and i just i love it i love the colors the style the gold lid it all just came together so beautifully and i hope you guys liked it don't forget to check out all my other fall videos and i will see you in the next one Bye.